guess what? We are in Target. Can you believe it? We are in Target. Anyway, <laughs> I know because they know I'm I'm a Walmart girl. I mean, I'm not ghetto like the people of Walmart, but I just shop at Walmart. Anyway, Savannah's here just trying to find, I don't know, stuff. Okay, you guys. So, I'm actually outside Kohl's. I don't know if you guys can see yet, yeah, right there. Savannah's inside shopping, and I did go in in the beginning, but either my style has changed or who's ain't it no more because I used to come here and find all kinds of dresses for church and just cute skirts and just really cute things and I'm looking through their selection and I'm like this looks like it's for 90 year old women and nothing's wrong with 90 year old women clothes but I'm not a 90 year old woman and I don't know maybe my style of clothing has changed but yeah, I'm like, hmm, there's nothing here. And I didn't even want to look at anything else. So I told her, I'm like, I'm going to go to the car and you continue shopping. So she even looked in her size and she didn't find anything that she really liked. Ooh, that car is nice. What is it? What is it? Can y'all see that? Oh, okay. I need to stop because I get in these moods to where I want another car. And then the next thing you know, Michelle has traded in her vehicle. I'm not doing that this time. I told myself I need to pay this vehicle off. The last vehicle that I paid off was years ago. I had a red minivan, a Dodge Caravan that I named her Ruby because she was Ruby Red. And I don't know if I told you guys this story. I, when I was younger, I'm like, I will never ever have a van, vans, and nothing's wrong with having a van at all. But that was my younger years and my pride and how I'm gonna look driving the van I won't be caught dead in the van no I wasn't caught dead in the van I was very much alive and I had a van but <laughs> I did it because I needed a bigger car for my three kids at the time and it suited us well we went to Disneyland in that car many many times and so many trips so yeah and it was funny because when I finally paid her off Three months later, she broke down and I had been having problems with it, but it seems like, of course, when it was paid off, it knew, the universe knew, the car universe knew she needs another car and she's paid this one off. She's saving her money. We want some money. I bought that van brand new. I think it had four or six miles on it when I signed the paperwork. So this is what I bought from Target. I didn't really need anything from there. Savannah is the one who really wanted to go, but... I was low on my Mrs. Myers um, dish soap, so I ended up getting this. I've never seen this before, but it's the Honeysuckle Room Freshener. And then I've always wanted to try this, the Method All-Purpose Surface Cleaner. And then I don't know if these scents are seasonal, but I haven't seen them before. And this one is apple cider and it's the multi-purpose cleaner. And then the hand soap and the dish soap is acorn spice. And it smells really good, so I had to get both. And like I said, I don't know if it's seasonal, but I've never seen them before. And I just got the clear mascara. One is for your eyebrows, and the other side is for your eyelashes. And also, I got this candle. It's pumpkin, old-fashioned scented candle. And it smells so good. And y'all, when I got home, it fell out my hand. I thought it was going to break, but it didn't. And it landed upside down. Oh my gosh, it has hair in it. It looks like this because it landed upside down and this whole part was on the floor. So I'm pretty sure it should still work the same, but I'm like, now let's look at it. It's a mess, but at least it didn't Good break. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday and I just got out of the shower um, and I got dressed. I'm about to go check the mail because I don't check my mail every day, you guys. I pay probably a hundred percent of my bills online so i'm not waiting for a bill so a lot of things that come in there it's just junk mail or i don't know just whatever and we don't check it every day we check it maybe about once a week so i did get some things delivered there yesterday something's on the camera anyway i 
think I did get some things delivered in the mailbox yesterday. So let's go check the mail and see how much it is. It's probably full. So this is all the mail. And as you can see, it's mostly junk mail. I did turn everything over so it does not show my address. But I do have two packages in here. So yeah but that's the reason why i don't check my mail every day you guys because it's this garbage so ever since the shutdown last year i have been getting so many phone calls and letters in the mail about oh your property at such and such and they give the address i would love to purchase it and it's like i never put my house on the market and my house is not on the market so stop sending me these offers no you cannot buy my house then where am i supposed to live you know so i get so frustrated i just had four in the mail and then this week i had two people leaving me a message sometimes i'll get emails it's like where are these people getting all of my information is this i mean why don't they wait until somebody if somebody wants to sell their house and like i said this didn't start until like a little bit after the shutdown it's very annoying the same number that called me, they'll text me and, oh, I would love to make a cash offer on your house. And I'll say, no, take me off whatever list you have me on and leave me alone. It's so annoying. <laughs> you do look like the girl from Scooby-Doo. You know, Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. Um, I am working here at home, but I got dressed because I have to go into the office today. I have a meeting from 9 to 10, so that's the reason why I'm dressed. We could have easily done this on Zoom, but what I found out is not my manager, but the boss that's over my manager and all of us. She is, well, she's like 80 something years old. I didn't find that out, but anyway, she's like 80 something years old and she's old school and she hates all of us being home. She just hates it. So remember I told you guys they're building us a space where we can all be in the building together and be safe according to the CDC guidelines and you know, all the stuff that's going on in the world, in the world right now. So anyway, supposedly that area is going to be done in the middle of December and we're all like no 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 and with her it's a hard pass like no I don't want you guys at home even part-time you know you guys need to be here in the office because that's how work should be done and okay you're from the older time so she's just old school like that but what I found out is she is going to be retiring in January so whoever she brings on my manager is going to try to persuade to let us keep the schedule we have now because I like working from home and honestly y'all I'm more productive when I'm here at home because I don't have the distractions of okay I know I haven't complained about my job in a long time and I'm sure if I go in every day it'll be different but my manager she, her thing is she always says oh i'm not a micromanager y'all she is the hugest micromanager ever huge and me and some of the other co-workers we discussed it and we're like she always says she's not micromanaging but she's always over our shoulders and just stuff like that anyway so forgot the point i was trying to say when we're there my manager is always oh you know what about this? Oh, what about that? Oh, she's always calling her in, us into her office and stuff like that. I never get any work done when I'm at the office when she's there. So when I'm at home, I get my stuff done out the way. And yeah, I'm more productive at home. So, I mean, of course, if they call us all back permanently, you know, I have to listen and do that. Like I said, I'm dressed and in about 30 minutes. What time is it? In about 30 minutes, I'm going to go leave. I'm leaving a little bit early because I do have to get gas in the car today because we have Bible study tonight. Okay, so good thing I checked my messages before I headed out because 
the training today or the meeting has been canceled. The ones who are scheduled to work remote don't need to come in. I almost just grabbed my things and walked out the door. Good thing I looked here and looked at the messages and yeah, I would have been not happy. So yeah, get to stay home today. Yeah, would be more comfortable if I was in my PJs, but whatever. Hi guys, it is Friday. And Savannah's with me, as you can see. You wanna tell them or should I? Can you tell them? She is now a licensed driver. Y'all look out, if y'all in Sacramento, y'all see her driving, move. <laughs> I'm just kidding, she's a really good driver. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, I am so sleepy. I have an hour and a half left. And then I'm a free woman. I started super early today because Savannah went in to take her driving test and I wanted to get off work early but still get my eight hours today. So I started at five. I'm really tired and I was on break and I just leaned down in this chair and I put my head back and I fell asleep and I woke up in a panic because I thought that you know I slept a long time and wasn't working but it was only like for five minutes but that's why I pulled out the camera because I'm like I need to stay awake I probably should get up or whatever but I don't know I'm just super tired you guys but yeah it's time to redo my hair hi and oh I didn't tell you guys so Y'all know how I'm always looking for a project. That's just me, story of my life. Y'all should be used to this. Anyway, I am going to redo my living room. Wanna say hi? No. Oh, she said no. I'm going to redo my living room. <laughs> I'm going to redo my living room and when I did it before, I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted, I just, Bought the couch that I liked and then bought other stuff to match and I do like my living room um, but it just looks like fall all year long and nothing's wrong with that but I'm just getting a little tired of it it's a little dark and I'm finally gonna paint the walls in there so and yeah I'm going to instead of getting like brand new tables I am going to try to restore what I have and paint them and whatever. And of course, I will take you guys along for the whole journey. So yeah, I've been doing some more research on what I wanna do. This one's gonna take a little bit longer than my laundry room because I just wanna get everything right. And I may or may not be getting new furniture. I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, that's my plan. Savannah's birthday is tomorrow. She's going to be 20 years old, y'all. I have three adult children. I mean, I've had three adult children for a while now, but her turning 20 just really puts it into perspective that I have three adult children. I don't know why that's just like blowing my mind. Happy so birthday, cute. Brett. She is 20 years old. <laughs> yes, you are 20. <laughs> Officially 20. So yeah, cute. this is her card and flowers, oh, and she wants cash, so. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I'm just going to transfer you the money I into know. your account, so. I'm being so basic right now. You are being basic. You took off your dress. You look so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and now you got a busted t-shirt on. <laughs> with bleach bleach. Bleach. Hey, good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. Once again, you guys are there. Oh my gosh, this angle gets worse and worse every time I put y'all here. Um, anyway, today is Saturday and I'm actually running a few errands. Today is Savannah's birthday and she is 20 years old. Y'all, I cannot believe it. My baby girl is 20. All of my kids are in their 20s. How did that happen? Savannah will always be 12 to me in my head, probably because she's the baby. So anyway, um, she went with friends today. They are actually in San Francisco because another one of her friends, which is one of our church members from the old church, 
they share a birthday. So they're birthday twins and they made plans to hang out today and Cheyenne went with them and um, I think a couple of other people. So instead of me going with a bunch of young people, I decided like, yeah, I would love to go because I love the Bay Area, whatever, but you know, let it be the young people. So anyway, I stayed home, but then when they're done, are going to go out to dinner tonight so I will still get to spend time with her but right now I'm going to get her a cake and at first I was just going to order her a vegan cake from one of the bakeries here in Sacramento but she wants a birthday cake cake and well birthday cake flavored y'all I am not liking this not any better <laughs> anyway so she wanted a birthday cake flavored cake and all of the vegan bakeries that I called, they do vegan and non-vegan cakes, but their vegan cakes are vegan, but it's chocolate. And their non-vegan cakes, the base is, you know, the regular um, cake mix that has the eggs and dairy in it. So yeah, I am going to find a box cake mix. Um, a brand that we've got before. Oh my goodness, y'all, look at the light. On Sunday, you guys, not tomorrow Sunday, but Sunday that passed, it rained like huge. It was a storm, and when I say it rained, it was all the rain. We had all the rain. All the rain you could think of was here in Sacramento. And so the next day, I had to go into the office to work that day, and there were so many streets flooded and everything, and I seen a couple of cars that were stalled because they could not see the water I'm guessing and you know it flooded out and I was so thankful that I had the other cars in front of me to go around that way I went around as well even though I have a I have a mini SUV so higher up off the ground but still it's not like I have my truck anymore so now I can put y'all where y'all belong I'm leaving Winco and y'all are there because I'm nowhere near my house so, not in my neighborhood, not by my house. Anyway, I found the birthday cake, the vegan one, and I had to read the ingredients and everything, and it just said that it's made with soy products or soybean products or something like that. So, I did that, and I'm also, y'all, I'm gonna try my hand at decorating. I can cook and I can bake, but I'm not a cake decorator so yeah we gonna see how this turns out it's going to be interesting um yeah good thing it's only gonna be us that sees it yeah anyway i am on my way to party city because she did mention something about balloons and even though i absolutely hate balloons and if it's my birthday my kids know don't get me balloons because i personally i don't like them i don't care if they're pretty don't get me balloons because i don't want them anyway but she likes balloons so i'm going to get her balloons and if i can find the two and the zero then i'm gonna get her that so she can be basic like everyone else she says basic um yeah so that's where i'm going now and now it's hot y'all i was worried about it being cold and maybe possibly raining and sprinkling but i'm sweating turn my air on a little bit y'all so i am outside now the lighting okay maybe that's a little better i don't know it just seemed like it was like really dark anyway i am outside of party city let me turn that down i am outside of party city and y'all everybody in town is in here today it seems like everybody so i got in line to order the balloons and then i turned and looked because i was about to cut somebody and the line went to the back of the store down one aisle I'm like, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? They were pretty quick though, but still it's like, everybody and mama here today. Everybody decides they wanna get balloons on a day that I wanna get balloons. So yeah, and then now I have to wait for it. They said it was an hour wait or it could be sooner. So I did find her the balloons that have the two and the zero. And then I order also some like regular balloons. And I guess I should have got a balloon that said happy birthday. I don't know, whatever. Um, 
she knows her birthday <laughs> so i didn't get a balloon that says happy birthday i told you guys i don't like balloons so when it comes to stuff like that i really don't i don't know so i'm just sitting in the car i've been out here for look at the time on the receipt been out here for 30 minutes and i'm like i didn't want to go anywhere else because the parking lot is crowded and i'm in the shade i'm right in front of the store i have a good parking spot so yeah i was actually going to go get something to eat because i have not eaten yet this morning but i just want to get these balloons and go home so i can start baking this cake and hopefully i can decorate it the cake will be good you know because i can make a cake and i can ice in the cake but as far as making it pretty and all that type of stuff I don't do that I usually order my cakes when I want fancy so I don't know I'm just rambling but just sitting here and I'm bored and I'm like there's nothing to do with my phone but I keep picking up my phone because I have nothing to do oh my goodness you guys did I tell you how much I hate balloons it was a struggle getting this in I mean it fits I knew it would fit but okay gotta rely on my backup camera and my mirrors because I can't see out of my rear view mirror or if I turn around I can't see anything so all right now it's time to go home but before I go home I'm actually going to go to Wendy's to get a salad Wendy's has really good salads and I'm trying to eat light today because when Savannah gets back, when Savannah and Shine get back, we are going to go out to dinner tonight. So I just want to make sure. I'm trying to be healthy, y'all. I promise you. I'm got a few things that I'm doing because I just need to get back on track, get my life back. And yeah. So that's what's going on now. Okay, just wanted to show you guys the balloons. Didn't get very many, but mainly she wanted the two and the zero. Hold on. I was trying to do it where you guys could see it like the two and the O, oh, but these things are not in place like it should be. And then I just got the three pink balloons and three white ones. Let me step back that way. You guys still can't see it. Oh my gosh. Well, it's not working, but y'all can see it's 20. <laughs> and then at Winco every year you guys know i buy this little pine cone bag thing because it smells so good and then i just got the gluten-free birthday cake um cake mix and then the birthday cake icing and then y'all we gonna see about decorating um butter some candles and then the icing and then just a little decorating tips so yeah we'll see but first let me eat my lunch slash breakfast and then I will start preparing the cake and at Home Depot I just bought a bunch of wood y'all trust the process y'all know me um there's a little something that I'm doing and more here and I don't know why I put the rest in my room but this is all for my living room and of course I'm going to take you guys along on this journey y'all know me i'm always doing something to my house and let's see i got wood stain i don't even know if i was supposed to do gel stain i probably should have researched that a little bit more then i got chalk paint this one is linen white y'all no one told me and i didn't know how expensive chalk paint is so here is my salad and then it just came with the southwest ranch it looks so good. I'm just going to take out these tomatoes because y'all girl don't do tomatoes. Yeah. Don't know if y'all know that, but I don't eat tomatoes. So let me take this out and eat.
so the cake is in the oven and I don't know if you guys notice it's kind of thick and it's not as creamy as I guess that's what you call it moist or whatever as a traditional cake that's not vegan but that's okay every time I've made this that always worried me but it ended up coming out you know good in the end so yeah I don't know about you guys but I have yet to taste a vegan cake that tastes just as moist as a regular cake so we've had a lot of vegan cakes in this house and vegan stuff because of Savannah so am I saying it's nasty it's not but excuse me just to me the ones we've tried hasn't been that great maybe if I would have got one from a bakery it would have been okay but they didn't have birthday cake flavor they only had chocolate and she didn't want chocolate so so I'm just here and about to finish not finish but about to watch Wentworth um, there's some new episodes on Netflix and if you guys don't know what it is it's like a prison show from Australia it reminds me of Orange is the New Black Orange is the New Black was definitely better but I still love Wentworth so I'm about to watch that now and just relax until I don't know hold on I have to answer that you guys I'm so excited so you guys know how I told you I am redoing my living room well that's a call from someone who's going to come out and give me an estimate on something here in the living room and um, I'm just going to y'all know I'm gonna take y'all along but of course it's gonna be a separate video or whatever but um, I think that's going to be the most expensive thing other than the couch I don't think the couches are gonna be that expensive I think what I want let me just tell you guys what I want I want plantation shutters on my patio door I, I'm tired of curtains and every curtain I buy because now I want to buy white curtains or lighter curtains they get dirty easily we have a dog he rubs up against it and I don't know I just don't want those anymore and yes I know I will have to clean the shutters but it'll be easier to clean than curtains so he's coming out to give me an estimate I'm excited I don't even know how much that costs you guys I'm thinking a couple thousand but hopefully nowhere near that I hope they don't blow my mind and be like six thousand dollars because um no i mean it's nice and all but this is what we not about to do so anyway yeah that's it for now so i almost forgot to show you guys this so i am starting to decorate the cake so yeah fingers crossed with the birthday girl and Evie is here with us. Hey Evie! 
and Cheyenne's here next to me also. So we just ordered and we have our drinks and that's about it. How was your day, Savannah? It was fun. It was fun. Everyone's telling you happy birthday on Facebook and on Instagram. No, I was trying to like all the comments, but yeah. <laughs> So my food is here. I got a French dip. I never had it before. Cheyenne got a salad. Evie got a chicken sandwich. And Savannah's waiting on her. Yeah, she was waiting on her pizza. Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Savannah. Really? Happy birthday to you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, she blew out the uh, one candle. <laughs> wish. Now, Go. make a wish. So what are you doing? I'm gonna blow up. You gonna burn your fingers up? Ain't nobody using Take a cardboard. Uh, take something. Oh my make goodness. Yeah, no, okay, make, wait, a wait, make a wish. Make a wish. Hold on. Make a wish. Okay. What you <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so here's Savannah eating her cake. She said. <laughs> Oh, sorry. She said it's moist, y'all. So I was talking to them about dry um, vegan cakes I've had in the past. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let me stop.